hello hello <laughs> welcome back to vlogmas day 18 so i rarely do like the formal intros to welcome you to the vlog so i just wanted to do that today and try to do it from now on but yes welcome back to vlogmas day 18 today i really you know so far i've just like waxed my face and did a little skincare i'll show y'all that and um cleaned off my makeup desk and table so we are making progress the last thing that needs to be done in the studio is literally just the bathroom so we are almost done and thank you guys so much for joining the journey also thank you to everyone who has been supporting and interacting consistently for this vlogmas this is my first vlogmas and i'm trying to do my best you know to get everything well a video up every day no matter how long or short how eventful or boring okay so thank you guys so much for rocking with me for this vlogmas let's go ahead and get into day eight today i'm starting off warming up my wax pot while i love these like just playing with them anywho so warming this up while i um clean my makeup desk and start in my bathroom i'm gonna melt this because i have to shower and stuff still so this might take a little while i just got it on 158 because that's the temperature i like to wax at 158 or 161 is pretty good but we are now tackling everything else over here um i will i first of all i don't have no clothes on so i'm trying to avoid y'all seeing me <laughs> But um, let me lift the camera up. Okay. So yeah, main goal today, finishing the studio. Now, when I shower, I think I'm going to wash my hair because I might retwist it. Just depends on how long it takes to actually clean the makeup area in the bathroom. Um, I might just let Babe do it tonight. So we'll see. I like when she do my hair, so I might just let her do it. But anywho, let's get on to it. I got just put this makeup up and it's not gonna be hard i gotta get my wipe down stuff where's my myers at Yeah, I already know I got the housewives playing. I'm in season three now. And yeah, so basically this is what I've come up with. Oh, let me pause it because it'd be loud. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> there we go. So, um, yeah, really, really clean and everything's put to like put together. No, put away. Um, so I think I'm going to need like, uh, first of all, I still need to do, I don't have my mirror cleaner in here, so I need to still do the mirror. But um, as far as the top, I have two pieces of plexiglass on top. I did paint this white, so that's why underneath like there, it's not, oh, more like here. It's not perfect, but I don't care because I'm like the only one who sits here. And even if somebody else sat here, girl, this is, okay. I done painted these table. Well, the table was black before I moved. I painted it white to go with the studio. This was, I think, white at my first apartment. Or maybe this is from my old laundry room. So I think I never touched this. I think this was fine. 
Um, but I know this was from my first apartment. It was white. I painted it black. Now it's back white again. And it's another thing too. I think it's underneath my wax table. But yeah, so I see I only got one wig in the thrifty sleigh bag up there, which I still need to take that out and wash that too. Anywho, I have a lot of room. Like right now I'm organizing my um setting sprays right there. I still need to fix my makeup, like my foundations. I have two empty cubicles. And of course you see my um eyelash palettes. It might be a little dark. I do apologize. And then that's just like when I used to have like my natural hair out without locks when I wasn't locked. I guess I'll say it like that. I used to use Eco Styler real often, but now I don't really use it that much. So that's just what's left over there. And um these are more so like I guess not cuter items, but if you see like this right here has a collection of nine and this as well and then the full spectrum at the top i need to wash my sponges these are my everyday brushes and eyeliner mascara some primers up there um got my love spray and my cleansing spray from hold on okay from ashley lisa and then i have like my face serum or whatever um, then I have my, like, go-to or daily foundations that I've been using, which has been these two. And, um, concealers, concealers, eyebrow stuff, lip pencils, empty because it's my makeup, like, my eyeshadow brushes, which are in the to-be-cleaned bin. But, honestly, I need to clean everything except for those here because those are new. But, um, yeah over there let me zoom in i'm like moving and stuff when i can just zoom in so over there we have my um face products so we have it organized by section so i have good molecules elf and mary Kay, and that's pretty much that kept it simple i'm pretty sure over time i'll add more but if it's not nothing or not anything to be added there's no point in trying to force stuff over there so then right here, I just have my Fenty collection, like Fenty products. And then I have Maven Beauty products right there. And then this was when CoverGirl sent their collection. So I just have all of that lined up. So that's more like display purposes. Like I'll still use the stuff, but mostly I just go for my everydays, which has been like NARS and Anastasia so far, as far as foundation um, and Smashbox as far as primer. So yeah that's pretty much that um those are my glosses those are my mattes i did go through them like before i moved here and got rid of the ones that were like old and i wasn't using so much lip products in there as well as my two main like my avino and my simple um face moisturizers but um we are done basically almost so i meant to show y'all the third tier really really cute um it's perfect i actually have room a lot of room at the bottom but then i also have room i would say for about four bottles on the second and maybe three or four on the top so um i got room for more even though i don't plan on like splurging because i think i have enough for now today i'm actually just gonna wear um the one babe bought me i was thinking about this one or juicy but i'm gonna do this and I'm going to do this oil here. I don't know the name of it. Again, I just find these oils. You can find them in like, if you have like a small, sometimes like tobacco shops have them or like corner stores or beauty supply stores have like these oils. So, yes. Alrighty guys. So, I have waxed. I'm going to film an intro because I feel like I just be starting the vlogs and not really being like, hey, welcome to Vlogmas. So, I'm going to do an intro after I, you know, do my skincare and stuff. I had I didn't wash my hair. Basically, I finished the makeup table and I still have the bathroom, but it's getting late, late in the day. So, I want to first um feed my dogs um and get something to eat for myself before I go and do the bathroom, but honestly, it's like the last thing, so I'm not really worried about it. So, and as far as my hair, I was going to retwist it. Like I said, it's getting a little late. And I asked Babe if she was going to do it today or tomorrow since she did say she would do it. So, I'm just putting it 
and a head wrap today. My forehead is so big. So I'm gonna do that. Um, usually I put on like a, where are my, look, when you organize stuff, you can't find it for real. <laughs> I was looking for my stocky caps. Ugh. Yeah, but, so I do like a, a donut. I'm gonna see how it comes out. Cause sometimes trying to do like the ponytail type of, um, I just put the bun like on top of my locks. But trying to do a ponytail head wrap does not always work out. And the reason I put this donut here is to um, give it a little volume. I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit. But to give my scarf something to wrap around. And then I put a cap. Uh-oh. Um, you can use like a like a head wrap under a head wrap, but I prefer a cap. I don't know. I'm not gonna put it on my edges because I, I need those, you know. And it's already like big forehead and ain't got time for all of that. So I'm gonna just pull it back a little bit. Okay. Now I'm not gonna do like I could do edges, but I don't want to. I do have a widow's peak. Anyhow. So I just chose this color. It doesn't really match my pants. Y'all can't see. But it's like nudes and neutrals for today. Oh, I need another nose ring. I'll get the one from in there on the sink. So let's see. I know my face is really dry. I'm probably looking ashy, but we gonna get to that. All right. So you want to have it like equal lengths and I want to put it like that. Like I want it to have, you know, some coverage. So I'm going to start all the way up here and I'm going to like do a fold back. But first thing I want to do, and I guess this is not a tutorial, but in case you do wonder, <laughs> I'm just twisting it underneath the bun and then I'm going to start twisting it like that this is the first time it ever felt secure so clearly I'm doing something right alright and I'm going to just tuck it under Oh wow, this feels secure. It feels nice. I wanted a little more circular, but I like it. And then the reason I started all the way down here <laughs> is so that when I fold it back, it doesn't slide all the way back, if that makes sense. So, yeah. It finally worked out. I never feel secure with my head wraps on like this. It finally worked out. All right. I'm just looking to see if I like this side. So I did wax my face. First thing I want to do, even before I do my fragrance, I want to put on some lip stuff. This stuff definitely gives you that white cast. Like if you put too much, I'll tell y'all this. Like, it starts to look like yuck mouth. So, I'm going to do that. I need to open this. I have one open in the bathroom, but I wanted one for my makeup table and one for my bathroom. If that makes sense. So, I got that. Oh, I feel like this is a long segment <laughs> not trying to make it too long y'all this is from european wax center even though i don't go there anymore pretty sure i probably still have like some wax passes and stuff but i just decided to start doing at home stuff especially oh that felt good especially after my wax lady left i didn't really do anything to my brows because my wax was cooling down so they still look 
crazy. But um, that's that. And after that, I don't really do like the e.l.f. and the good molecules on the same day that I wax. I just do the serum and a little bit of bio oil. And again, I do, oh, that's what I meant to upload. I mean, put into my upload defaults for my description so you guys can see my beauty products and hair products tab on my website. So I'm gonna put that link down below too because everything I use is linked, but. Okay, skin. It's giving, and I did wax sooner than I was supposed to, so. Probably still got some hairs left over. Probably tweeze them out later or something. But that's that. I'm going to just take this off. My boobies look big from that angle. Anywho. So this is from Nubian Essence. I purchased these. I saw her on TikTok. And I purchased three. I think it was like birthday. Something else. This is the pure body butter. They ha she has one that has like glitter. And I think that's the birthday one. But this is like a shea, I want to say. Yeah. A shea butter. And I like this because, as you can see, or maybe you can't, it just gets so creamy. You can just dig it out. Some shea butters be so stiff that I can't dig it out. So, that's why I chose. Well, that's why I wanted to try hers. Because from the videos, it looks really, really good. And it, it is good. It's just been... <laughs> under a pile of mess in my studio so never really got around to using it as often as i wanted to but i also have some from salome shea which is really really good so yeah that's all i'm gonna do there i'm gonna actually make like a skincare maybe i'll use that one for skincare like lotions we'll see once i do that i'm gonna go in with this I don't know the name. Oh, but it smells so good. So I do apologize for that because this is like life. I like this one over the Michelle Obama one that I have. And then I like almond type scents as well. But this one is like a, a more perfumey scent. So yeah. And then this is Sensei. My babe brought this with me. I will first valentine's day this year and um oh it's called filthy rich i never saw the bottom label i never saw it i don't know if it's gonna pick up but a lot of people always ask and she's like no don't tell them i'm just like it's probably not in stores and stuff because oh that smells so good it's in a perfume shop um in our mall so <laughs> You might not be able to find it in like Amazon or anything like that. But oh, I smell so good. She need to come home so she can smell me. But this is all I'm going to do today. And yeah. So I'm going to catch y'all downstairs. I think I want cookout. I just want the white cheddar cheese bites. So I think I'm going to go there. Okay, so I think I mentioned yesterday. Babe bought me flowers for my YouTube accomplishment. Super thankful for her. So I'm going. I cut them already. And filling up the base right now okay let me grab that and so pretty so so pretty and i like that i can see it because the other one uh oh i'm like are you leaning off no nah, it's good the other one was um you couldn't see through it so i like that you can see through this one Oh boy, that's pretty. One like that. That's cute. I like it. Um, so I did end up moving the Christmas tree down, the bar Christmas tree, and just put the fruit thing in the center for now. And I wanted this to have its own grand entrance, okay? And I just set these coasters up here. Um, I cleaned the kitchen last night. I need to put the stuff away. I made, I made me a snack last night, so my Dutch oven is in the sink and a bowl. But other than that, I did clean the kitchen. 
I need to take my vitamins because I did forget yesterday and I'm kind of sad. I was really sad and it was really late. So I was like, it's pointless to try to do it now. Straighten up the living room as well. The only thing is I need to vacuum. I want to clean the living room couch too. And um, I want to mop. So wet day outside. Doggos are eating. This won't even be satisfying to hear the clicky sounds because the dogs are over there going in. So nobody wants to hear that. It was stuck. Um, I guess I'll take tomorrow to refill all of these. I only have one Saturday left, one Friday left, and one Sunday left. So I'll do that. I walked right out the dang old house and forgot to get the freaking mount. It's just sitting on a tripod right now, but it's cool. Babe's car is here. Y'all probably won't see because I'll probably blur it out. Oh, I also got invited to dinner today, so I'm super excited. Um, I'm making new friends and all that good stuff. I told you guys I wasn't necessarily searching for people, but I definitely, I definitely feel like once you hit like close to 30 or in your 30s that you are going to kind of find or secure your soul tribe and people who you just you know connect with deeper than I guess our immature mindset or the mindset beforehand so sometimes you grow apart from people and that's okay you still love them you still wish them the best and stuff but you start to encounter people as you gain wisdom and stuff you start to encounter people who you like in order to live a certain life if you desire a certain lifestyle you want to be around people who also desire the same lifestyle whether that is luxury farm life whatever and luxury is really what you make it luxury could literally just be having the ability to sleep in at night you know to sleep in in the morning my bad like and wake up at whatever time you want luxury can be being able to take an hour nap or luxury can be buying whatever you want so luxury is what you make it but if you have a mindset if you want to be a you know you want to open a business you want to be around love and marriage and commitment and things like that you want to be around people who exemplify that and who stand in that and who represent that as well so as your mindset change and shift and things of that nature you will start to see your crowd kind of change as well so um don't be afraid to i guess not let go of people but in a sense kind of let go and fall back and start searching outside you know searching outside of that typical circle and who you grew up with and who you went to school with etc etc so yeah i was invited to dinner so i'm gonna do dinner and um she was so sweet so so sweet so i'm just like okay i'm gonna go to dinner and you know she's like 36 or 37 so i'm just like yeah i'm here for it i'm here for it you know <laughs> i'm here for it so let's see if they got it right today i don't like sitting in a like drive through and checking my food i'm like i'm not timid about telling you you got my shit wrong but some days it's just like i just don't have the time or the patience so um uh, let's see i thought it didn't give me a straw all right so first i'm gonna try before we do that let's let's be let's be experimental okay so I got a cookout milkshake and uh oh my sweater is cold. Okay. And it's eggnog. So I got the eggnog milkshake. It said it's fresh eggnog, whatever the hell that is. But let's see. It's okay, like it's just giving vanilla. Okay, I'm I'm getting the eggnog. I'm definitely getting the eggnog like it's like an aftertaste so at first it just tastes like okay vanilla what's on my lip so anyways at first it tastes like vanilla and then when you swallow it's like eggnog it's good nonetheless I like vanilla shakes so that's that I don't have a straw so 
they take a year and a day to melt anyway. So I'm gonna just um I don't even know what to sit my spoon. I used to have a little tray because I really like people watch. Um but yeah. They take five of the melt, so I'll just wait home. Wait till I get home. I got they got cheese fries right, and I got the cookout sauce, and I got my nuggets, so it's right. You know, I got my side of white cheddar cheese bites because they are fire. But yeah, I was gonna tell them like light on the cheese because they be overdoing it. This is good though. But especially if I'm eating fast food, like I don't want to drive and go get it, drive back home and eat it, because I know my fries are gonna be cold. I'm gonna have to warm something up. No, I rather sit in the parking lot, watch people, watch my shows, lock my doors. But I'm probably gonna find something on YouTube. Talking about winter fragrances, but before we get started, we want to thank Sephora so much for sponsoring this video. Also, don't forget to sign up. So I'm watching Kelsey and Kendra's. Um, winter fragrances and it's like y'all know i just did my perfume stand so i'm like i want some fragrance i'm nosy sorry so anywho um once you eat because i took my vitamins drank water and then tasted this but once you eat like something savory and then taste this it's straight eggnog it's no like at first, when I, like I said, first tried it, it was just vanilla, then eggnog. But after eating something savory, then coming back to it, it's like, oh, that's eggnog. That's good. So it does taste good. Um, most people don't like eggnog because it's thick. So if you're drinking a milkshake with eggnog, a milkshake is expected to be thick. So I think most people who probably typically wouldn't eat or drink, my bad, eggnog, they probably would like this. They probably would. We are lighting the trees tonight. Um, she's so pretty. I'm going to turn the overhead light off just because those little lights are going to come on at 530. And well, maybe I'll leave the overhead one on and just turn the little ones off. I don't know. Either way, I'm about to go clean studio bathroom. Like, yeah, so cute. I'm in love with my tree. Like, I think I did a really good job. This is the first time I really, 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 really decorated. And she just has so many elements. So, I like the pics, the ornaments, the big ones, the snowflakes, warm lights, and white lights. Like, it's just so, so cute. All right, we're in the bathroom where I have to trim plants and water them too, but mostly focus on everything else. So I mentioned to you all that I use the Catchy for gnats um, because I do have a lot of plants in here. Look at the gnats. That's why I love the Catchy. But ew, that's nasty. So I put my dial, even though I know everybody be having their opinions about soap, Child, I'm going to use what I use. But I have my dial because that's my... Oh, I feel dirty. Let me use that. And it's like a layering soap. I use a dial first. Then I'll go on with a dove. Then something else. Like, I'm really that girl now. So then I have my Mila X. And that is my turmeric soap for my face. In this drawer, I started putting like toner and shaving powder in there. And I'm not going to do like put the rest of the shaving powder like down there or something i don't really know but this one's empty but i still have this stuff out here so that's why i'm like uh don't do me because i gotta clean my shower right now i have drano in both my faucets like in the sinks or whatever and in the shower so yeah i didn't clean it yet because i want the drano to work or plumber whatever it's called but i wanted to show y'all so i don't use shower seats well not this one <laughs> um unless i'm propping my leg up or something right so i decided to put my lotion not lotions my damn body washes down there and kind of layer them how i use them so for instance you see how my bad <laughs> so in the back all the way to the right is my dove 
almond mango so that is the body wash and then i always use my dr bronner's baby fragrance whatever unscented before everything so i have that at the top because that's just my every my first move but at the bottom then i have my dove body polish and then i also like can use my saint saint ives apricot um if i don't want to use the dove so that's a body scrub like an exfoliator now the saint ives is for the face but it's harsh on the face, so I use it on the body. So yeah, then you can see I have my Ashley Lisa's um, cleansing spray and love spray, or sorry, not spray, but body wash. And then I have my Doves in front of it because that's a, the order I use it, or I might mix them together. Or I might start in the front with the body polish and then go to the back with the, you know, body washes. So I just wanted to do that in here just so I could have options and don't have to go into my sink every single time but that's what we got so far this stuff is garbage okay so making a lot of progress in the bathroom I have to, so i do have to clean the mirror but yeah the sink is nothing up here i just have to wipe it down but again i'm waiting for the drain out to settle and um one thing I don't have and I just kind of throw over here is my towel. So usually my towels are like rolled up in the basket. Mm, right now it's trash. I have to throw this away. But yeah. And in my tub, I have to like wash it because the plant, some of the dirt fell in there when Jam had um, put the plants up or something like that. Something happened. So I have to water a pothos over here and water my Chinese evergreen. Houston, we have succeeded. The water is going, oh no. This one was going down at first, but now it's not. So I'm couldn't put more Drano in there. Everything seems to be running through now. So that worked out. And I am about to wrap this vlog up to be honest um there isn't much more to do in this bathroom so that is exciting the water seems to run through that's what i'm really happy about this is the sink i wash my hands in and then the other one i brush my teeth i could hear it drain through that's so good yes Okay, so we are done. I do need to vacuum and Swiffer in there, but guess what, y'all? The drain's working. Everything's put where it needs to be. A quick run through. This is like, um, I guess stuff I might need, need more immediately. Diva cup, shaving powder, mask, and things like that. Then I have bar soap and um, shower bombs. And then I have like Bath and Body Works type stuff. And then down here is like Q-tips, placards, and um, like electronics and stuff. So y'all know I have my basically my teeth bar. So that's peroxide, cups, mouthwash, um, my crystal deodorant. pepper but yeah so I do still clearly need to trim the plants but one step at a time I need to edit this vlog so that's what I'm about to go do everything over here is organized now and lifted up and I can see the top of the toilet I got my um, bleach thing in the back of the toilet I did change this and put my makeup cleaning like bowl brush and stuff I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow and show y'all that and I just moved the booty scents to over there. So, yeah. Um, I'm pretty much done. This is what it looks like when the lights are out. Real vibey. So, 
and that is that. A vibe, okay. So thank you all so much for joining. My camera is dead now. It is now um, 8.30. So I'm going to go ahead and start editing this vlog tomorrow. Mission clean, dirty brushes, okay? So that is the only goal. And before this dies, I did go ahead and sit the, um, I'm about to put this down there. But I set the press on nails in this little container and just set it up here. And I thought that was simple and cute and not doing too much. But good night, happy Vlogmas Day 18, and I shall see y'all tomorrow, okay?